Hi all, here is second part of classification problem to classify chest x-ray images as normal image or pneumonia images. In our first part of lecture, we talk about our data set and we also perform some pre-processing with the data set. So let us go ahead and build our model. In this part of lecture, we will perform augmentation of images and then build convolution layer. So let us start with our uh, second part. We will define some uh, constants here and uh, these are some important constants that we are going to use during our future steps. First is image size. As the X-ray images are of not a uh, uniform size, so we keep all our input images from training sets and uh, testing sets of uniform size. We define image dimension as 150. Epochs are number of times we will iterate our neural network, fully connected layers. It will train weights in the input and hidden layers where we are going to pass all images in bunch of 64 batch size. For bunch of every 64 images, it will perform backward propagation and train and uh, model by enhancing the weights. We will perform the whole process of passing all training images which are in total 5216 images that we will pass in batch of 64 images. This process we will uh, iterate for 10 times as we have defined epoch as 10. The number of epochs are not fixed. It can be decided based on the performance matrix. Now it is time uh, for image augmentation. As we know that uh, the straight images are not sufficient enough to train the model. Sometimes the images obtained are dependent up, up to the angle of camera or X-ray machine. Even the zooming of image also affect. So it is always a better idea to augment the image by changing its original position and dimension in terms of zooming and flipping etc. Here we perform augmentation on trend data set and uh, test data set. We rescale the image first as we know that the image is in grayscale. So each pixel will have value ranging from 0 to 255. This increase computational burden. And it is always a better idea to scale them in range of uh, 0 and 1. So we will scale them by dividing it by 255. Now the zoom range we provide as 0.3 and we also uh, perform vertical flip of the uh, on the same image. So for test data set, we do not augment it by flipping it or zooming. It will keep it as it is, except we just rescale it. So we just rescale uh, the test uh, set and uh, we do need uh, like we need to test the images and test them to know the model performance. Hence, we will keep it as it is. All right. So now finally, we uh, build the train and test data set by using the parameters like uh, the image size, batch size. All right. And uh, now our train and test data set is ready for convolution layer. So now next step is building the convolution uh, layer. Here I have executed a function named process data. Uh, we are passing image dimension and batch size to this function. The function create two arrays as the input to the convolution network should be an array. The test data are stored as an array of images. We also need to test the data set once the model is fit. But since the images are labeled as normal and pneumonia, which is categorical and uh, the model will provide output for the test image as zero or one in terms of binary output, we need to convert the known output of the test image data set as binary. Here in this particular function, we have used for loop that uh, fetch all images from normal and pneumonia folders and then resize them and label them as zero or one depending upon whether it is from normal image folder or pneumonia folder. 
our function return test data that contain normal and pneumonia images for test purpose and test labels that contain 0 or 1 corresponding to that particular image is available in test data. That will specify whether the image is of normal type or pneumonia type. Now, uh, here we call uh, the function process data. Uh, this particular function as we saw here, uh, this particular function will, uh, uh, as you can see here, as we uh, saw in our uh, last uh, function, last uh, slide, uh, that uh, it returned test data and test label. So we are passing image dimension that is 150 and uh, bed size which is 64 to this particular function. Now we will build the convolution uh, layer. We will build the convolution model using four steps. First step is building convolution layer where we will pass the filter to the input image and build stack of convoluted images. It will pass to the pooling layer. Here we perform max pool that will be passed for batch normalization. Next step will be uh, flattening the output that will provide single dimensional vector for each image. It will be an input to the input layer of the fully connected neural network. The fully connected layer will have input layer, hidden layers and one output layer. For this problem, we are using two convolutional layers and hence max pooling layer and batch normalization associated with each convolution layer. This result in flatten layer that is vector of vectors input to the input layer of our fully connected layers. Now the fully connected layer has one input layer and two hidden layers and one output layer. I am using ReLU function as activation function and since our problem is of binary classification type, output layer is of binary type that written 0 or 1, hence I am using sigmoid activation function. Uh, the optimizer used is Adam optimizer and loss function is cross entropy. Uh, if you are uh, looking forward to understand that why we are using optimizer as Adam or how to select optimizer or how to select uh, lo uh, loss function, then you can go through my past videos where I have explained about the optimizers and loss functions. We also use dropouts to control the overfitting here. So uh, that's great. Like, uh, okay, now we need to understand as well that uh, how the convolution obtained through this particular example. Here is one example as I have shown. We have our image which is shown here as an example. Consider this is one image and uh, it is of size 5 cross 5 and each pixel contain the image intensity. We use filter here and this particular filter is of size 3 cross 3. It is just for example for understanding purpose. It pass through the image which is called a stride. It is uh, passing through the uh, uh, given image. Okay, so it is known as a stride. So every stride it, uh, you know, slide uh, from left side to right side. Okay, so it passed through the image which is called a striding and for each stride as shown in example, we obtain the resultant value. As a result, we obtain convoluted image. By passing multiple filters, we obtain stack of convoluted images. This is further passed for pooling purpose. As a result of convolution, we reduce the dimensionality and uh, extract important features. Okay, so now we look at uh, how the pooling layer work here. Here is an example that shows how the pooling work. There are different type of poolings uh, that we can apply. Here is the example of max pooling that we are using in this particular example. Here is the, this uh, problem, we are using max pool function. A filter is passed through the convoluted image. In our case, it is max pool of size 2 cross 2. 
and uh, in a uh, max pool what happen is it is a size 2 cross 2 so say uh, this is particular 2 cross 2 size out of which the maximum value is 9 hence the first value will be 9 then it will uh, stride uh, again uh, to another 2 cross 2 uh, position here again the highest or maximum value is 2 so we will obtain 2 here same way similar way it will pass on uh, the image okay which is obtained uh, as a result of convolution and uh, finally we uh, extract the pool layer now finally the pooling layer flatten and produce vector representing images in single dimensional vector now here we uh, go ahead and here we can see that our applied convolutional neural network is of this nature okay uh, as shown here, our image is convoluted using the first convolution layer followed by pooling layer. Again, it is convoluted and pooled. So, we are performing two convolutions here. That means original image, that is our input image. We convolute it, then we pool it, then again we convolute it and pool it. All right. So, uh, we are performing it twice. Finally, it is converted to a flattened layer. This flattened layer is input to our neural network's input layer and uh, we are having two hidden layers in our convolution network. So, the fully connected layer will contain two hidden layers. All right. Now, uh, let us begin with our first step that build our convolution neural network. So, here is the coding how we have coded this. All right. Our input image is of shape 150 by 150 and since it is uh, of RGB type, layer is 3. We declare first convolution layer by using con 2D function. Since it is 2D image, we are using function con 2D. Uh, in case of video stream, we will use con 3D function. We use 16 filters of size 3 cross 3 in our example here and with activation function is relu and finally we apply applied uh, max pool 2d function with uh, pulling filter max pool of size 2 cross 2 all right now similarly we have second convolution uh, layer only difference is we apply 32 filters of size 3 cross 3 for this particular layer again similarly we apply max pool 2d by applying pool filter of size 2 cross t and uh, we also use dropouts to control the overfitting by specifying the dropout rate of 0.2. Now it is time to flatten the images. It is uh, it convert the pooled layer to a single dimensional vector. It represents the image as a vector, and all images are converted to a single dimensional vector. It is a vector of vector and hence it is known as a tensor. So tensor is a vector of vectors. This is an input to the fully connected layer. We have declared two hidden layers for this particular problem. First hidden layer is having 128 nodes and we use relu function. We have specified dropout rate of 0.5 for the first layer to control the overfitting. Second hidden layer is having 64 nodes with activation function relu again and dropout rate is 0.3. I have uh, given it as a 0.3 to control the overfitting. Now it is time for output layer. So let us understand the output layer here. It is quite simple. It is having single uh, a node and since this is a binary type classification problem we are uh, where we obtain output as normal image or pneumonia image is in terms of 0 and 1 so we have sigmoid as our activation function all right now uh, so like that was our uh, you know important task and we have built our convolution neural network the whole code is ready the network is ready now next task is to compile it and then train it with and uh, uh, with and uh, like once the model is ready we will test it uh, its performance and this we will learn in our next part of the lecture so uh, see you soon and until then have wonderful time happy coding stay safe stay happy take care